Here it is, the final build for my Curve Belgi Spirit that's going to be ridden 5,500 kilometers across Australia in the Indian Pacific Wheel Race. Now, I am going to publish an article on La Velo Cheetah about the full build of this bike. It's linked in the description. You want to see what any of the specific parts are? All the information is there. So now, let's have a closer look. The heart of the bike is still the Curve Belgi Spirit and I ride it in a size 56. For the drivetrain, I have a, an electronic Hydro Di2 Altegra, 50 34 rings, medium cage derailleur, and this is a beautiful masterwork from my mechanic. It is a 1336 cassette. 13 to 36. Now, this has been custom built because I needed something that would be big enough to get me over the hills in the back half of the race, so the 36 there, and also something that was very rideable for the extended flats, like the Nullarbor. So I spoke to my mechanic and he's done this extraordinary, completely custom made cassette. So it starts at a 13, and uh, so that means that I still have those nice gears for the flats for the first few there and plenty of gears for the big mountains in the back end of the race so there's about four different cassettes in here he's individually chosen the gears individually aligned them and chosen a chain which is a SRAM chain to make sure it all shifts nicely it is fantastic it is quite an, he's done an amazing job of it under my butt is a specialized power saddle and a Sintase P6 high flex seat post for plenty of comfort. The bottle cages are still the old triple B side exit, so I can just pull them out to the side with these funky little aluminium adapters to drop them all the way down, just to get them out of the way of the frame bag, which I'm mounting up here. Now I've gone for a Zephal Gizmo down here as well. So gonna have another bottle sitting in there. It's gonna get shit flicked all over it, but I'm not actually gonna drink out of this one. It's just gonna be a storage bottle. So I'll put water in that one and then pour that into other bottles there. Pedals are Shimano XTR mountain bike. They're pretty nice. I like mountain bike for ultra endurance because they're nice and easy to clip into and the shoes tend to be a little bit more comfy. A couple of other miscellaneous bits and pieces, a tune seat post clamp to go in orange with the uh, overall motif of the bike and a tune bobo headset here for a bit more orange splash. Now at the front here is my cockpit. The aero bars are Sintase C3 with the double helix bend. It's what they look like from above. They are, inc they are incredibly comfortable and they have this little gizmo thing on the end. So you've just got something to rest your hands on when you're, uh, when you're, when you're spending long amounts of time there. So those bars are absolutely brilliant. Uh, the Sintase Race Light Carbon Bar is underneath here. Um, the Tune Gayless Tail 4.0 stem is there. Now this is pretty cool stuff. This is bar tape called Fat Wrap. And I, I just can't even tell you how big this is. It's like, a, it's like a pool noodle when you put your hands on it. It's just so spongy and so massive. So that'll be great for comfort as I'm uh, riding five and a half thousand goddamn kilometers. Uh, Shimano Di2 hydraulic shifters at the front there. And... Yeah, that's it, couple of Garmin mounts. So this is gonna be a mount for my light. I'm gonna mount it in there, that just points forward. I've got a mount for the Garmin on the bars there as well. And I'm gonna get rid of the porter in the middle there because I need to mount a bag. But that's just there for now. I couldn't be bothered taking it off before the video. Now the rolling stock was something I had some concerns with with my last video. So I've swapped out the Compass Bonjon Pass tires for Schwalbe Marathon Supremes. They're still 35 millimeters and they are set up tubeless. Now these things are super duper rugged. So they're a very, very hard wearing tire. I've got them set up tubeless. So for me, I wanted a tire that I could chuck on and it just, just not have to worry about. So I don't have to worry about punctures, hopefully, unless I, I don't know, hit a landmine or something. They're super duper rugged. And they've also got that cool re reflective strip around there. So that's the tire I've gone with. Some people are trying to, you know, tell me it's the wrong tire, but that's what I'm doing. Now the wheels themselves, we have Curve CC38 rims and they are laced to Tune King and Kong hubs. So King at the front, Kong, back here. Um, now they're actually mountain bike hubs, but they're, they're pretty rugged and they, uh, you know, no worries. They're a really good hub for disc brakes, which is what I've got, a 160 mil, just a Shimano rotor, nothing particularly special going on there. Now that is the Curve Carbon Fork. 
And I think that's it. I think that's everything. So, oh, and before I go, it is 10.2 kilos. People are obsessed with asking me about how much stuff weighs. 10.2 kilos. Thank you for watching the video. If you have, if you want to know what any of the specific parts are, link down below. Love Hello Cheetah. The full build spec is there. Thank you so much for joining me as always. Plenty more Indian Pacific wheel race videos on my channel. Have a look, stick around. Don't forget to subscribe. Wish me luck on the Indie Pack. Cheers guys.